Hi everyone. In this section, I am going to deep dive into the liabilities section of the classified balance sheet. Now, unlike the asset section, the liability section only gets broken out into two subcategories. The first of that subcategory of those subcategories is current liabilities. Now, remember that the word current basically means within one year. Liabilities are the debts you have to pay. So current liabilities are basically the obligations or debts that you're going to have to pay within one year. All right. And what does this commonly include? Well, I have a list here, but your notes payable, um, or at least the, what we call the current portion of the notes payable. So in other words, if you have some long-term debt notes and you've got some portion of it coming due in 12 months, you're going to list that portion here. Your accounts payable, what you owe in the ordinary course of business usually doesn't take longer than a year to pay unearned revenue. Now don't get thrown off by the word revenue being in here. This is a liability. Whenever you see the word unearned, what that means is someone has paid you in advance. That person recorded a prepaid asset because they paid you in advance. And now you owe them something. You don't owe them money, but you owe them some sort of service, some sort of sale, um, whatever your revenue generating business is. And so this is a liability representing that you have money from someone that you haven't earned yet because you haven't fulfilled your end of the bargain. Um, but usually someone isn't going to pay you in advance over a year ahead, right? And so this is usually coming up within a year. And then you've got things like wages, interest, taxes, all your normal day-to-day -day things where you might get a bill and you pay the bill 15 days later. Um, those would be current liabilities because you pay them over a very short period of time. Now, um, the general rule of thumb on order of operations here is, um, or order of presentation, I should say, um, notes payable usually is presented first if you have some current portion of them, then accounts payable, um, then unearned revenue, and then any other miscellaneous current liabilities that you have will just go in order of declining magnitude. In other words, just biggest to smallest dollar value once you cover those first three items, notes, accounts, unearned. That's the general rule of thumb for, present, for presenting the current um, liabilities. Note here, I have a bottom at the slide, also includes the current portion of long-term obligations such as bonds. So that's the same application here, just like we have the current portion of notes, if you are paying off a bond, um, normally bonds last for many, many, many years, but let's say you're coming upon the pay date within a year, you're gonna take that bond and move it out of long-term liabilities, move it into here current liabilities, just like you would with this current portion of notes and um, report it as, hey, it's coming due within a year. All right, next up, long-term liabilities. So um, again, Long-term versus current, just one year, that's the cutoff. So these are your debts that are expected to sit on the balance sheet for longer than a year. Commonly includes bonds because bonds are usually long-term uh, long uh, instruments. Commonly includes mortgages, right? Mortgages usually last anywhere from 10 to 30 years. Includes the long-term portion of a note that's payable, right? You might have some portion of a note that you're paying off in installment payments coming due in the current year, but then you have the rest of the balance that comes due at a later time. Um, if you have any leases or if you have any pensions, those are typically also long-term arrangements, many, many years in the making, especially pensions. Um, and so anything where you owe, but you're not expected to pay that out for years to come, that's gonna go in the long-term liability. And just as a reminder, any portion of any of this that is coming due in the current year, you're gonna to wanna to move over to current liabilities. Um, as far as presentation goes, declining magnitude. That's the order you wanna put them in. It's the general rule of thumb for the majority of the balance sheet with just some few exceptions in your current sections. Here's an example for you. This comes from Bed Bath & Beyond. Liabilities and shareholders' equity. Notice this is just the liability section that I've presented here for you. First and foremost, there's their current liabilities, which are then broken out and subtotaled. Then they have some miscellaneous other liabilities and, of course, their long-term liabilities, which are all rolled up into a single line item, um, and then total liabilities are subtotaled. Now, 
Again, this, this, this is going to give you a picture of how the real world sometimes differs from, say, the textbook learning, right? Textbook learning, you put your current liabilities, you put them in a certain order, you subtotal. You put long-term liabilities, put them in a certain order, you subtotal. But in this case, you see that Bed Bath & Beyond chose to kind of consolidate that long-term into a single line item. But you can guarantee that if you go to the notes to the financial statements, it will be broken out in significant detail for anyone who's interested in how that balance rolled up. Okay, this is the liberty that, that companies have to take with the presentation of their financials. All right, that's it for the liability section. I hope you found it interesting, and I hope you join me for the next video.